In this video, what I want to talk about is how we calculate out work, power, and horsepower, and how all three of these are related together. And then for this example, we're going to use a cylinder. Okay? So the first calculation that we want to work on is something called work. Okay? And work is measured in foot pounds. And it's a formula that's given to us by the amount of distance, okay? Distance times force, okay? Or the force required to move something, okay? So the formula, uh, a little clearly, more clearly written out, is work equals force times distance. Force is calculated out in pounds, and distance, in this case, is going to be calculated out in feet. Okay, so let's run through a scenario here. So let's say this cylinder has a four-foot stroke. So when it extends, it extends out four feet. And it's moving 725 pounds box, okay, just to make the example simple, okay, that's how much force is required. So, what I want to do here is just take work equals 4 times 725. If you type that into your calculator, you will see that that is 2,900 foot-pounds of work being accomplished. So, I just take the distance of travel by how much force is actually being required to move an object. Now, this is great, okay? This is a great formula to know how much work is being accomplished, okay? But another factor that comes into play here is how, how long does it take, okay? So if I want to know how much power it takes to move this much, I have to factor in time. Let's just say the stroke of this cylinder happens in 15 seconds. Okay, so it's regulated down, and it will move out in 15 seconds. So the formula for calculating out the power is the distance the object has moved times the force divided by time in seconds. Okay, so what I would do is I would, want to, I would get my work value, okay, and then divide that by however many seconds it takes, in this case 15 seconds. So if I run this through the formula, another way to calculate, look at this formula is just work over time, okay? Since work is force times distance. So I'm gonna come in here and I will take that 2,900 and I'm gonna divide it by 15, okay? And this would give me an answer of 193.3 repeating, and this would be foot pounds per second. So if I wanted to know how much power was being applied or how much power it took to move this 725 pound load, and I have a four inch distance that I'm moving it, and I'm doing that in 15 seconds, this is how much power it takes. Now, the next step in this, this value doesn't mean much mechanically to a lot of people. So, okay, well, I'm getting, you know, 193.3 foot-pounds per second. Well, we want to apply that to a known standard, okay? So the next phase in this is to convert this to horsepower. So I'm going to move this value up to here, okay? So power equals 193.3 foot-pounds per second. And now what I want to do is calculate this out to horsepower, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take power divided by 550, okay? And that 550 comes from, uh, you know, the horse moved uh, 550 pounds, one foot in one second. So this 550 is a constant. And as long as I have my power, I can convert it to horsepower by dividing it by 550, okay? Um, this can be expanded, this power can be expanded into any of the previous phases, but we'll just keep it here since we already have power. So this would be uh, 193.3 divided by 550. So, if I came here, 
I divide this in, I would come up with 0.35 horsepower. And this is how much horsepower it takes to move 300, 725 pounds of force um, 4 feet and 15 seconds. Okay, so uh, maybe it's a baby horse. I don't know, a foe or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, sorry for the bad joke. Um, this is just a quick introduction into how we get uh, work, power, and horsepower um, from a mechanical standpoint in a hydraulic system. Alright, so I hope this video helped, and uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.